Leviticus 1 through 7. Dear Heavenly Father, I just want to thank you. Thank you for allowing us to have your valuable word at no cost, completely for free for us to just enjoy at any time and to uplift us and to get us through difficult times. You you offer this for free and it, and it astounds me. It astonishes me. Uh, I believe it's undervalued because of that. And I just pray that people's hearts will be on fire to just plunge into your word. I pray that there's excitement surrounding your word and that your mysteries are unlocked to people spiritually. I thank you so very much. In Jesus' name, amen. The Lord called to Moses from the tabernacle and said to him, Give the following instructions to the Israelites. Whenever you present offerings to the Lord, you must bring animals from your flocks and herds. If your sacrifice for a whole burnt offering is from the herd, bring a bull with no physical defects to the entrance of the tabernacle so it will be accepted by the Lord. Lay your hand on its head so the Lord will accept it as your substitute thus making atonement for you. Then slaughter the animal in the Lord's presence, and Aaron's sons, the priest, will present the blood by sprinkling it against the sides of the altar that stands in front of the tabernacle. When the animal has been skinned and cut into pieces, the sons of Aaron, the priest, will build a wood fire on the altar. Aaron's sons will then put the pieces of the animal, including its head, and fat on the wood fire. But the internal organs and legs must first be washed with water. Then the priest will burn the entire sacrifice on the altar. It is a whole burnt offering made by fire, very pleasing to the Lord. If your sacrifice for a whole burnt offering is from the flock, bring a male sheep or goat with no physical defects. Slaughter the animal on the north side of the altar in the Lord's presence. Aaron's sons, the priest, will sprinkle its blood against the sides of the altar. Then you must cut the animal in pieces, and the priest will lay the pieces of the sacrifice, including the head and fat, on top of the wood fire on the altar. The internal organs and legs must first be washed with water. Then the priest will burn the entire sacrifice on the altar. It is a whole burnt offering made by fire, very pleasing to the Lord. If you bring a bird as a burnt offering to the Lord, choose either a turtle dove or a young pigeon. The priest will take the bird to the altar, twist off its head, and burn the head on the altar. He must then let its blood drain out against the sides of the altar. The priest must remove the crop and the feathers and throw them to the east side of the altar among the ashes. Then grasping the bird by its wings, the priest will tear the bird apart, though not completely. Then he will burn it on top of the wood fire on the altar. It is a whole burnt offering made by fire very pleasing to the Lord. When you bring a grain offering to the Lord, the offering must consist of choice flour. You are to pour olive oil on it and sprinkle it with incense. Bring this offering to one of Aaron's sons, and he will take a handful of the flour mixed with olive oil together with all the incense and burn this token portion on the altar fire. It is an offering made by fire, very pleasing to the Lord. The rest of the flour will be given to Aaron and his sons. It will be considered a most holy part of the offerings given to the Lord by fire. When you present some kind of baked bread as a grain offering, it must be made of choice flour mixed with olive oil, but without any yeast. It may be presented in the form of cakes mixed with olive oil or wafer spread with olive oil. If your grain offering is cooked on a griddle, it must be made of choice flour and olive oil, and it must contain no yeast. Break it into pieces and pour the oil on it. It is a kind of grain offering. If your offering is prepared in a pan, it also must be made of choice flour and olive oil. No matter how a grain offering has been prepared before bringing offered to the Lord, bring it to the priest who will present it at the altar. 
The priest will take a token portion of the grain offering and burn it on the altar as an offering made by fire, and it will be very pleasing to the Lord. The rest of the grain offering will be given to Aaron and his sons as their food. It will be considered a most holy part of the offering given to the Lord by fire. Do not use yeast in any of the grain offerings you present to the Lord, because no yeast or honey may be burned as an offering to the Lord by fire. You may add yeast and honey to the offerings presented at harvest time, but these must never be burnt on the altar as an offering pleasing to the Lord. Season all your grain offerings with salt to remind you of God's covenant. Never forget to add salt to your grain offerings. If you present a grain offering to the Lord from the first portion of your harvest, bring kernels of new grain that have been roasted on a fire. Since it is a grain offering, put olive oil on it and sprinkle it with incense. The priest will take a token portion of the roasted grain mixed with olive oil together with all the incense and burn it as an offering given to the Lord by fire. If you want to present a peace offering from the herd, use either a bull or a cow. The animal you offer to the Lord must have no physical defects. Lay your hands on the animal's head and slaughter it at the entrance of the tabernacle. Aaron's sons, the priest, will then sprinkle the animal's blood against the side of the altars. Part of this peace offering must be presented to the Lord as an offering made by fire. This includes the total fat around the internal organs, the two kidneys with the fat around them near the loins, and the lobe of the liver, which is to be removed with the kidneys. The sons of Aaron will burn these on the altar on top of the burnt offerings on the wood fire. It is an offering made by fire, very pleasing to the Lord. If you present a peace offering to the Lord from the flock, you may bring either a goat or a sheep. It may be either male or female, and it must have no physical defects. If you bring a sheep as your gift, present it to the Lord by laying your hands on its head and slaughtering it at the entrance of the tabernacle. The sons of Aaron will then sprinkle the sheep's blood against the sides of the altar. Part of this peace offering must be presented to the Lord as an offering made by fire. This includes the fat of the entire tail cut off near the backbone, the fat around the internal organs, the two kidneys with the fat around them near the loins, and the lobe of the liver, which is to be removed with the kidneys. The priests will burn them on the altar as food, an offering given to the Lord by fire. If you bring a goat as your offering to the Lord, lay your hands on its head and slaughter it at the entrance of the tabernacle. Then the sons of Aaron will sprinkle the goat's blood against the sides of the altar. Part of this offering must be presented to the Lord as an offering made by fire. This part includes the fat around the internal organs, the two kidneys with the fat around them near the loins, and the lobe of the liver, which is to be removed with the kidneys. The priests will burn them on the altar as food, an offering made by fire. These will be very pleasing to the Lord. Remember, all the fat belongs to the Lord. You must never eat any fat or blood. This is a permanent law for you and all your descendants, wherever they may live. Then the Lord said to Moses, Give the Israelites the following instructions for dealing with those who sin unintentionally by doing anything forbidden by the Lord's commands. If the high priest sins, bringing guilt upon the entire community, he must bring to the Lord a young bull with no physical defects. He must present the bull to the Lord at the entrance of the tabernacle. Lay his hand on the bull's head and slaughter it there in the Lord's presence. The priest on duty will then take some of the animal's blood into the tabernacle. Dip his finger into the blood and sprinkle it seven times before the Lord in front of the inner curtain of the most holy place. The priest will put some of the blood on the horns of the incense altar that stands in the Lord's presence in the tabernacle. The rest of the bull's blood must be poured out at the base of the altar of burnt offerings at the entrance of the tabernacle. 
The priest must remove all the fat around the bull's internal organs, the two kidneys from the and the fat around them near the loins, and the lobe of the liver. Then he must burn them on the altar of burnt offerings, just as is done with the bull or cow sacrificed as a peace offering. But the rest of the bull, its hide, meat, head, legs, internal organs, and dung, must be carried away to a ceremonial clean place outside the camp, the place where the ashes are thrown. He will burn it all on a wood fire in the ash heap. If the entire Israelite community does something forbidden by the Lord and the matter escapes the community's notice, all the people will be guilty. When they discover their sin, the leaders of the community must bring a young bull for a sin offering and present it at the entrance of the tabernacle. The leaders must lay their hands on the bull's head and slaughter it there before the Lord. The priest will bring some of its blood into the tabernacle, dip his finger into the blood, and sprinkle it seven times before the Lord in front of the inner curtain. He must then put some of the blood on the horns of the incense altar that stands in the Lord's presence in the tabernacle. The rest of the blood must be poured out at the base of the altar of burnt offerings at the entrance of the tabernacle. The priest must remove all the animal's fat and burn it on the altar. Following the same procedures as with the sin offering for the priest, in this way, the priests will make atonement for the people, and they will be forgiven. The priest must then take what is left of the bull outside the camp and burn it there, just as is done with the sin offering for the high priest. This is a sin offering for the entire community of Israel. If one of Israel's leaders does something forbidden by the Lord, his God, he will be guilty even if he sinned unintentionally. When he becomes aware of his sin, he must bring as his offering a male goat with no physical defects. He is to lay his hand on the goat's head and slaughter it before the Lord at the place where burnt offerings are slaughtered. This will be his sin offering. Then the priest will dip his finger into the blood of the sin offering, put it on the horns of the altar of burnt offerings, and pour out the rest of the blood at the base of the altar. He must burn all the goat's fat on the altar, just as is done with the peace offering. In this way, the priest will make atonement for the leader's sins, and he will be forgiven. If any of the citizens of Israel do something forbidden by the Lord, they will be guilty, even if they sinned unintentionally. When they become aware of their sins, they must bring as their offering a female goat with no physical defects. It will be offered for their sin. They are to lay a hand on the head of the sin offering and slaughter it at the place where burnt offerings are slaughtered. The priest will then dip his finger into the blood, put the blood on the horns of the altar of burnt offerings, and pour out the rest of the blood at the base of the altar. Those who are guilty must remove all the goat's fat, just as is done with the peace offering. Then the priest will burn the fat on the altar, and it will be very pleasing to the Lord. In this way, the priest will make atonement for them, and they will be forgiven. If any of the people bring a sheep as their sin offering, it must be a female with no physical defects. They are to lay a hand on the head of the sin offering and slaughter it at the place where the burnt offerings are slaughtered. The priest will then dip his finger into the blood, put it on the horns of the altar or burnt offerings, and pour out the rest of the blood at the base of the altar. Those who are guilty must remove all the sheep's fat, just as is done with a sheep presented as a peace offering. Then the priest will burn the fat on the altar on top of the offerings given to the Lord by fire. In this way, the priest will make atonement for them, and they will be forgiven. If any of the people are called to testify about something they have witnessed, but they refuse to testify, they will be held responsible and be subject to punishment. Or if they touch something that is ceremonial unclean, such as the dead body of an animal that is ceremonially unclean, whether a wild animal, a domesticated animal, or an animal that scurries along the ground, they will be considered ceremonially unclean and guilty.